We're going to take a look at the new range masking feature that was added into the latest version of Lightroom in uh, October 2017. So if you missed it, <laughs> Adobe, if you're on the Creative Cloud version of Lightroom, um, Adobe has actually renamed Lightroom to Lightroom Classic. Okay, you can see right up there in the little title bar, Lightroom Classic. So your, your CC version of Lightroom, when you update, your newest version is going to be called Lightroom Classic. Just keep that in mind. If you're using an older version of Lightroom, a non-CC version, Lightroom 4, 5, or 6, um, you're, it's not going to get updated and you're not going to see these features in it. So just keep that in mind as well. Okay. All right. Um, I've got two, uh, two little download files here for you too. You can put them into your extras folder for, um, for the follow along files that we've been working with here, or you can just import them. They're practice files. So it doesn't, it's up to you where you want to put them. I would put them into, um, into that extras folder. So you could literally just do an import into Lightroom and then drag and drop them right into that extras folder. Cause they're kind of extra sample files. Okay. All right. In this video, what we're going to do is, uh, is I want to give you, this is going to be a more technical kind of explanation. I'm going to show you a little bit about the nuts and bolts of what's going on behind this new setting. And then in the next video, we'll do a little bit of real world stuff. So our first one here, you're going to notice the range masking. It's going to be in the graduated filter. It'll be right down there at the bottom or the radial filter or the brush tool. Okay. You'll see range mask. Um, on any one of those enabled as soon as you create an adjustment. So let's take our, our plain old gradient here and, uh, and let's pretend we're going to darken the sky where we would bring the exposure down and we would click and drag and we would darken the sky just like that. All right. So what the range mask does is it lets you, it lets you select the range that you want this adjustment to apply to. Cause other than the brush, which is you semi semi selective, but not, um, we, it gets tedious if we really wanted to brush in trees or something like that. So what we can do then is come down here and turn this range mask on. And we have two options, color and luminance. Let's go to luminance first. Cause this one isn't really a color photo. So we'll go to luminance. And if you were to think of these two little sliders here, think of them as see this black to white gradient. If, that's exactly what this, this black over here, this point over here would be over here. This point over here would be over here. All right. And as I start to move these sliders, what I'm telling Lightroom, let's bring smoothness all the way down to zero here. As I move these sliders, I'm telling Lightroom, I want you to apply my adjustment only between these areas. All right. So if I leave it like, see right in the middle there at 50, Look at that. That's right center at 50% gray. Okay. That's 50% gray right in there. So I'm saying, I want you to now apply my graduated filter between the luminance values of this 50% gray and 100%, which is white. Now, if I bring this over, see how it starts to creep in from the right. So now I'm saying, Hey, go, go between 50% gray and this light gray right here. And as I move and expand these, you can see it creep over in either direction there. Okay smoothness smoothness adjusts how feathered this edge gets so at a very low setting it looks very blocky okay at a higher setting you see here it starts to smooth it out a little bit okay and then you can always see the before and after click this little toggle switch right down there and you can see your before and after okay so that's what your smoothness does it just smooths the edges out a little bit Again, if you, know, if, you, if you want to keep it very restricted to a certain area, you keep it at a low setting. If you want to open it up and affect a larger area, you keep it at a high setting. All right, so that's luminance. Let's go ahead and reset that, jump over to our color photo here where we got this big red rectangle. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click and drag a really dark graduated filter here. All right, let's go down here to range mask. Let's turn on color. And it even gives you some instructions there. Use the color range selector, which by the way, that's that. That's that little uh, eyedropper there. It's a sample colors that you want to basically restrict this adjustment to. And it says click and drag for greater accuracy or shift click to add multiple samples. So click and drag means that I go up here and I click and I drag. Oh, sorry about that. I got to turn on. <laughs> Don't do what I just did, by the way, which is just click. Make sure you click the eyedropper first, then go over here, click and drag. So click and drag means I select that area. Okay. Or shift click would mean I would go over here, click once, 
Then I can come down here and shift click. You see the little plus, it means I'm gonna add another color sample. I can go over here and shift click. I can go, you can go to the background and shift click and you see it really starts to open up where this gradient is being applied to. If you turn it off and then on, you can start to see it. So I'm just adding multiple points by shift clicking. So let's reset that. Let's, uh, let's start this guy from scratch. Click and drag downward, there we go. Okay, so we've got, uh, we've got everything on the, the photo here. So let's go ahead and turn our range mask to color. I'm gonna take my eyedropper and I'm gonna click and drag on this little box over here, like so. And so what it's done is you can see it is hidden the graduated filter from everything else in the photo. And it's just affecting that red box and a little bit of the flower as I turn this on and off, all right? So what we can do now is go to the amount setting. If I bring this down to zero, I'm saying, hey, I wanna be very, very strict here. I want you to only apply this range mask to the colors that I gave you, which was, was that red box there. That's all I want you to do, all right? As I open up that amount slider, you'll start to see it bleed into some other reds that it detects in the photo. You start to see it bleed into the flower a little bit there. So if you want to keep it restricted, you keep it down low. If you want to start to open it up to some other areas in the photo, then you can start to crank that amount slider up. Okay. So hopefully that gives you kind of an idea of, of what these settings do on a not real world type of a basis here. In the next video, we'll take a, a look at a couple of real world uses for it.